this is gonna take a long time to clean off. So before it gets too cold or too dark, because this pasta took a lot longer to cook than I thought it was going to, I figured I would take some time tonight to give you guys a little life update. Now I feel like a lot of you might have been a little bit confused last week when I said I sold the bus and now I'm doing the truck camper life. Uh, and then there were a lot of comments talking about this rig behind me. Hey, Tara, leave it. Okay, we're not gonna do this. I need to in this beautiful four-wheel camper rig, which before I get any further, thank you again to four-wheel camper for allowing me to borrow this rig for the month of October. And that's a clarification point. I think I did say it last week, but I'm borrowing this rig. I didn't purchase it. I don't intend on purchasing this rig. I'm simply using it for the month to see how I like truck camper life, how it works out for me and Tara, and to try to figure out what style of camper I might want to get. Which brings me to my announcement. So I'm not going to dive into the details just yet because I do want it to be a bit of a surprise, but Tara and I have found our next home like permanent home not a u-haul not a borrowed truck but our next home and i could not be more excited to go to minnesota next week with my friend hannah to go check it out and hopefully pick it up i've definitely noticed some massive differences which a few of you mentioned you'd be interested in hearing about between bus life especially but even van life and truck life now while the bus definitely could have parked out here in the dirt flat riverbed I don't think we could have actually gotten here because the access road to get here was so bumpy and so off camber, even the truck was rocking side to side. That said, having 4x4 has allowed us to access this campsite, it's allowed us to get great views of Mount Hood and Mount Adams, and it's allowed us to get places a lot faster and a lot less anxiety ridden than I ever could in the bus. In addition to that, having something that is easier to maintain, easier to fix, and cheaper to fix, just getting things diagnosed in the bus alone cost over $500 a few times because of the type of vehicle it was. It's going to be so much better in a truck versus a school bus, which most people refuse to even work on. This week alone has been a great example of where we can go and where we're headed. Tomorrow we're heading to a 4x4 trail to access a hot spring right now we took a really crazy dirt road to get here it was like 35 miles I think the bus would have fallen apart on that road quite honestly if it didn't break down mechanically 
And so this is much more suited, I think, to our lifestyle. And while it definitely is a lot less space than in the bus, the bus is kind of an apartment for us. For one person, having that much space, which probably sounds crazy to those of you who live in homes, but in a vehicle is crazy. And it felt almost unnecessary. Not only was I able to build up a collection of things that I didn't really need, but I also just felt overwhelmed by the space a lot of times because there was a lot to clean, a lot to keep up, so many nooks and crannies that this dusty girl could fill with her hair and with dust, and overall, just a lot to maintain. For me, I want something that's more nimble, that has better access to places like this, and that is actually smaller because as you've heard in weeks past, I struggle with anxiety and overwhelm, and keeping a clean, tidy space, whether that's in my material items and the things that I have or just keeping things clean is super important to me and my mental health. With all that said, we only have a couple weeks left in this camper, which is super sad because I absolutely love it. I'm having so much fun trying out all the modifications in this truck because it is not just a standard truck. And I'm taking notes down to see what I might be able to incorporate from this vehicle and honestly this camper into my next build. And just remember, as I mentioned in last week's, the goal of being on the road for me and for Tara was never to continue to build rigs out over and over again. So this upcoming build, I'm going to build faster. I'm gonna build more simple, most likely, and I'm gonna stick to another tight budget because again, I want our finances freed up so that way we can go travel and enjoy the road and not be constantly stressed about things. So before it's pitch black out here, I'm gonna go grab my dinner and finish that up and hopefully get some great shots of the night sky tonight. It's absolutely beautiful here. Feels like we're on the moon, if I'm being honest. And I've never been someplace like this before. So I know our time here is limited. I wanna make the most of it. And I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing all the new places that we're able to travel. With any luck, this new truck is going to allow us to get to even more remote, beautiful places just like this to share with all of you. Before I go, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to follow the rest of our journey. You'll get to see more remote places like this, follow Tara's journey, which let's be honest, that's why most people are here. And you're going to get to follow our new upcoming build series in November and December as we take on the road in our new, to me, rig. All right, you guys, I hope you had a great rest of your week and I'll see you next Sunday.